This podcast was edited and uploaded by Uncle G Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Drunken Jeep Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Jeep, and this week is a special episode that we are going to be calling Drippin' Jeep Selects. uh, In Drippin' Jeep Selects, we're going to be taking an old episode and re-releasing it to the public for you guys to enjoy just one more time, and maybe more in the future. Uh, This is an episode that Drippin' and I recorded uh, last year, last August, I believe, where I actually met Drippin' in person for the first time. We actually met each other in person, obviously, for the first time. Duh, we we have to meet each other for the first time. Anyway, uh, we're taking this episode, we're reposting it for you guys up on the audio feeds, up on the YouTube feeds, just for you guys' entertainment for this week while Drip and I take a week off as far as live streaming goes and making an episode. So please, everyone, please enjoy this Drip and Jeeb throwbacks episode of the time that Drip and I got together in person. What a blast that was. Sorry for the audio quality. Drip and I didn't know exactly what we were doing as far as like what would be good audio for the podcast at that time in person. So the audio didn't come out the best during that live stream. And also the video was just kind of a clip that was I screen recorded from the stream that Drip did on his YouTube for that night. So the video and audio quality, not exactly what you guys are used to these days, but hopefully you guys can get uh, get past that and enjoy the episode and just enjoy Drip and I's banter uh, meeting each other in in person for the first time. Uh, I think it was a good episode. Uh, hopefully, we can do this again soon in person, which, spoilers, might be happening very soon, Drip and I getting together, making another in-person uh, podcast. But more to come on that. Uh, so, once again, guys, please enjoy this Drip and Jeep throwbacks episode. Hey, guys. Welcome to episode 10 of the Drip and Jeep podcast. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God. Look who's here. Look who's here. Jeep is here. What, what in the building? This? What there's a there's an invisible wall. I know, wall. man. Look there's, at this. Look at this. Oh, hey. how great is that? It's real life. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. This is nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll just hop right in, man. I, yeah. I, it, it's nuts that you're here. Finally. Yeah. We've been playing this for what? It really wasn't that long. It really. I wasn't. guess it did kind of just come together. We were just like, it was one night. Yeah. We were just talking like, well. We could do this. We could do that. Look, yeah. Okay, I think we're actually formulating a real plan here. This is going to happen. Yeah. It was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to the East Coast. And, and it's like, oh, well, you live sort of over in that direction. Yeah. Uh, but I stopped by on my way back home. Yeah. It, it, did, it actually did end up working out perfectly. It worked yeah. out perfectly. It's, uh, this is incredible. that I'm, I'm sitting here in your... I slept in your bed. Yes. <laughs> yes, I slept in his bed. Yes, I, I gave Jeeb and Abby my bed. Yeah, I, I felt like it was better for for them to take the big bedroom. Just, just you know, being a, a gracious host, just being a gracious host. <laughs> um, so you have been gone. I have been gone. You've been gone for weeks. Yeah, I have had no tech help whatsoever. <laughs> I've been completely lost, not knowing what to do with. Anything on my stream. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Hari and I tried to figure it out. Yeah. We, we, tried, we tried our best to figure it out without yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've been on vacation for, like, I don't, know, I don't even know what today. A long time. Like, two and a half weeks. It's Thursday now. So, yeah. Yeah. So, where, where did you go? Let, let the people know. Where you <laughs> Where been? did I go? Oh, God. Okay. Where to start? I went from Illinois. Yeah. Uh, where I currently li- reside. is my home. And then I go. I went to the first. We went to Philly, Pennsylvania, where my parents live. So that's the first place we went. Then we went from Pennsylvania down to Dewey Beach in Delaware. Uh, so that was a really, really nice beach. So from here yeah. to there, yes. and then and then down a little, oh, little west. The there. There yeah, <laughs> yeah, down to Dewey Beach, and we stayed at the beach for about five days. And then from the beach, we went to uh, Maryland, where my sister lives. Stayed there overnight, and then the next morning after that. We're still in Maryland, went to Baltimore in Maryland, so two different parts of Maryland. That was another hour drive or so. Yeah, yeah. Actually, two-hour drive. Uh, and then stayed there overnight because uh, it was a wedding reception. I don't think I said, did I say that? Went to a wedding reception in, in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, the next morning was like a, like a, a brunch with, with the, the couple, mm-hmm. newlyweds. And then from there, uh, drove back home to Philly again. And then f- and they stayed there for another two and a half days. And then... Here I am in yeah, West Virginia. you've had a hell of a trip, man. Yeah. You've gone a long... You've put in a lot of miles, that's for yeah. sure. Five states, like... Yeah, five states. Incredible. Yeah. 
It's yeah, it's a lot. It's a yeah. lot. So you went to the beach. I did go to the beach. I need to go to the beach so bad. I need wonderful. to get to the ocean so badly, man. Like so badly. Oh yeah. It was it was a, it was wonderful to be at the beach. I I've been to the beach in years. And Abby actually had never been to the beach in her life, we'll say, because she was three years old. Yeah, she doesn't remember it. That doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count. If you don't remember it, you yeah. haven't been there. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, that's awesome. I mean, I uh, like I said, I haven't I haven't vacationed I didn't go anywhere this summer. Well, I guess I kinda did. I've been a few places, but uh, I do. I guess I do have the Talladega trip coming, but that's not. Oh, I yeah. need to go to the water. I need to go to the ocean. That that was such an experience. Like like going. To, if you haven't been to the beach in a while, or if you've never been, going to the beach is just. It's just the best. It's nice, man. It's a nice break from. It's totally a place where it's like you go, and you are away from your reality. Yes. Unless you live at the beach, then it's like, <laughs> then you kind of want to go somewhere else, I guess. Yeah, being there for five days, it was like that was definitely the longest I've stayed at the beach. Mm-hmm. That's for sure, and. It was, I started to become normal, started to become like, oh, this is like my life now. Yeah. By the fifth day, I was, I was ready to go. But I definitely was missed, I missed, I, I, as we're leaving, I'm like, you know what? I reflected on the days I spent there. It was a good time. Yeah. Yeah, so did anything, anything wild anything happen I while mean, you were there? I, I have some notes because my memory is, is off. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let, let's see what your notes, what do you got in the notes? I got then? some notes here. So let's just start with the, the end. Let's start with the end. How poetic. Okay. Uh, the Very the last yes. day of the trip, uh, we wanted to see the sunrise. So we went. Okay. We we walked out. We were within walking distance. Our beach house, where my whole family was living at, for the five days. We walked down to the beach, and there. So we it was morning sunrise. It was like we got. I got up at five thirty in the morning because that yeah. was that was too early. Let me I've done. You. I've done it. I've done it before. <laughs> got up five thirty in the morning and then got down to the beach and of course there's cloud coverage for the sunrise. Oh. But the good news is it wasn't that much cloud coverage. So I would say maybe seven or eight minutes act- after actual sunrise, you can see we it come got up over the over the clouds. So we did get a pretty pretty sunrise. I actually did that one time. Uh, I went to the beach. I did the same thing, but I woke up and I went out on the beach at probably around the same time. It was still dark with a giant tripod I had really low to the ground, like oh, yeah. right on the water. And yeah. I just sat there and just waited yeah. for the sun to come. And I, I did get some epic, I think I have prints of those here, like other than oh, the other yeah, ones that yeah. I shared. I yeah. think there's one framed in that closet over there, actually. We'll check it out after this. But, <laughs> um, yeah, that's the only time I've ever woken up that early at the beach. Every, you know, every other time I go to the beach, it's yeah. just like... No, I'm not waking up early. That's the whole point I'm here is to not wake up early. But that one day, and it is worth it. I do agree. It's definitely worth it to do. And while at the sunrise, we saw probably 20 dolphins, like like 10 packs. Well, it would be 30, but like 10 packs of three of them. It was awesome. Oh, man, really? And they were close. It was awesome. That's nuts. They were flopping out the water. You know, it was <laughs> flopping out of there. Look out. <laughs> it was great. That was that was. Not the highlight of the trip, but definitely was like, you know, that was... That was a big... That yeah. was awesome. That's really cool, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that, that was the... That's the end of the trip, but let's go back. Let's kick... Let's run it back to... Uh, let's go to the shark story. Okay. Yeah. The shark story. Yeah. Let's hear the shark story. Not too much of a story, uh, but yes, I did see a shark. And yes, we had to get shark out of the water. was spotted while you were at the beach. You were in the water. We were in the water and with we were, the shark. We were the closest ones to the oh shark. My God, because we saw we, we saw a few dolphins at that. How point. big was the shark? We, we didn't see. It didn't jump out the water. I mean, was it a great <laughs> white or was it like a? No, nah, I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, perspective is is, is important, and it, it's hard to tell how far away it was. I don't really care what <laughs> kind of shark it is or how big it is. Every one of them have teeth. All of them. This, yes, they do. All of them have teeth. <laughs> I'm not, I'm done, man. That's I get really weird about the ocean sometimes. It yeah. Oh, it, also I didn't tell. This is not my notes, but I did t- step on a couple crabs in the water. <sighs> see, that was that's a, why. I, that if was I can't unpleasant. see it. I'm like, man, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. I only go so far when I go to the ocean. Like I'm like up to like like thigh level, and I'm like, Ooh, we're getting oh, no, pretty we, deep. We were we're getting pretty deep. We were chest chest. What? Deep. Oh, it was. Oh, great. you're nuts, man. I would never fun. do that. It was fun. I will never go out that far. No way. I get I get like, my legs are starting to be covered, and I'm like, oh no, this is wild. <laughs> I gotta I gotta I gotta step back. The lifeguard's gonna get mad. I gotta I gotta I gotta get closer. They're gonna no, start yelling at me. No, it was good. We were all doing it. it was fine. It was it's fine, right? It's fine. Actually, there's more worry of like. Like tide shifts and like what are those called when you eat the giraffes in the water that can overpower you? I don't know what those. Called. Oh, like the like the undertow. Yeah, that kind of stuff. But that was more of a concern. Apparently, there was like my my sister, and my brother in law, like science nerds, so like oh, they knew okay. about that stuff. <laughs> anyway, 
uh, the shark was a little concerning. It was kind of cool to see. Uh, it was kind of cool to see the, like, the shark, you know, weirdly. Yeah. But yeah. I, was, I, I, don't, I don't find that like a cool situation. <laughs> no. That's not cool. That's terrifying. I would have been flipping out. I, uh, I would have been losing my mind. I, I, it just, it, it scares me. Sharks. It, it's, it's sharks. And I got stung by a jellyfish one time. Oh, man. But it got stuck up the leg of my pants. Yeah. And I was trying to get to shore, and it's just, just crushing me, man. Yeah. And then I went to the lifeguard, and they put this weird orange stuff on me. Really wow. helped. Okay. Really I don't know what it was, but man. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. It really, really helped. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> Beach stories are great, but before we get too far, we have to do our in-person beer of the week brought to you by Kenny. <laughs> Sponsored by my brother. Sponsored by Grandpappy Parallax. Grandpappy Parallax. <laughs> if you guys are not in the Discord, get in that Discord because he let we had some pictures from last night. We were having some, some great fun. Oh yeah, night. we'll get into that. We'll yeah, definitely but get into I'm that. I'm saying he was here with us last night. He had to leave. He's not here now, unfortunately. He's back home, but uh, he he did leave us some presents. Yes, yes, he he left these, and uh, I I I'll, I'll let you go first. Oh oh sure. Uh, I don't know what this is. I have a beer. Oh wait, no, that's not the name of it. The name is Dragon Fandango. The look old look Dragon Fandango. The old Dragon Fandango. It's got beer with mango, passion fruit, and dragon fruit. Now before I open this and take a sip, I just want to let you know as well as remind or tell people at home. I had one of these a couple days ago. My brother gave me one. Not this exact one. Okay. A similar kind of beer. It put me to sleep. Wow. I was dead asleep for like an hour. Dude. So like, I'm a little scared. But no, but that one, no, yeah, you said that yesterday, but that one was 9%. I don't think this is 9%. Yeah, we don't, I don't know what this one is. I think it's like 7? Yeah. I think I saw. Let's get this, uh. Yeah, go ahead, give it a try. There I'm, you go. I'm interested. I'm really excited for mine too. I'm really, uh, really. If excited it's like for it. anything like the other one, it does. It tastes very little like beer and more like a fruit drink, which is okay in my book. Yeah, I mean that's. There's nothing wrong with fruit drinks. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fruit drink. There's almost no hint of beer, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Well, so this one is. Um, this one is a sour. Yeah. Uh, you know, Grandpappy Parallax knows I've been into my sours lately, so he he brought a sour. <laughs> It's actually a strawberry banana mash, is what it's called. Strawberry banana mash. So I'm guessing, you know, strawberries, bananas. Uh, just smells like a sour beer. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't get any. I don't, no strawberry, no banana from the smell. So I imagine that banana is gonna not gonna be too fragrant, but I bet you taste it. Whoa. Whoa, man. This is like it's got it's got that sour beer flavor, but the strawberries are like the beginning. Oh. And then it kind of like finishes out with a little bit of a banana hint. Yeah, oh like, yeah. That's good, right? Yeah, I love sours, man. I'm all about sours, but uh I want to shout out that my beer at least is the Toppling Goliath Brewing Company. I don't know what mine is. It doesn't say like mine does. Free Will Brewing. Free Will Brewing. Free Will Brewing Company. And because we can, let's give a cheer. Let's Dude. Give, there we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> How great is that, finally? <laughs> Just so long. So uh, long in the, in the works. So good. So you want to get into what we did last night? Yeah, we can. Let's, let's go there. So, all right, where do we start? I don't know. I guess we can tell the entire story. We just started at the beginning. Yeah. So... Jeeb's brother, Kenny, also came down. He's already back home. Uh, for those of you in the chat, you're seeing he's, he's there. Grandpappy Parallax. Grandpappy Parallax. So he actually, he came first. He was the first one to get here. And uh, he got here and gave me a, a wonderful bottle of scotch, which, I mean, wow. You know. Grandpappy Parallax yeah. coming in so clutch. There's, there's that. Uh, also... The Skyward Sword posters. Awesome. Very awesome. Very, very excited for all that stuff. Yep. Um, he got here first. We, you know, we loaded him in. We were sitting on the back porch, and then Jeeb texted me and said that him and Abby were here. So we came back in. You know, we all hugged. We got, we got our hugs in, you know. 
you know, it's it's just uh, the surreal hug. It bite. was very yes, it was. I was like, man, this is crazy. Like you're standing right in front of me. It's nuts. So you know, all that uh, earlier in the day, I had actually prepared a ton of food. I got uh, sh like the the I made these like foil like bakes uh, for the grill. They had like shrimp and chicken and then sausage, all kinds of stuff, potatoes, corn, everything. So. Uh, we actually went down to my local Kroger. We picked up a whole bunch more bush apple. Oh, so much bush apple. That is an amazing amount of bush apple we had in my refrigerator last did night. Did you post that picture in Discord? I have not, but I did take the picture, okay. so I will. No, I will do yeah. that. But, There's a uh, picture in Discord. It's there was a, a lot, lot of bush, bush apple. Um, <laughs> so we ended up eating on the back porch. That was great. I oh, really God. wish we would have been able to take more time out there, but yeah. it started raining. So we ended up having to come inside, which actually... Ended up being fine. We hung out upstairs a little bit, you know, messed around up there, did this and that. But uh, obviously, we were watching the Olympics. Of course. And as you uh, do. at one point, we decided to fire this thing up, which was probably the best. It was the best decision we made throughout the evening, for sure. Because the four of us had pretty much a round robin tournament on every fighting game we could find what did we play we played uh oh i don't remember the, the names. marvel marvel superheroes or something like that i don't even remember what, it, what, what it's called it's, we played that yeah on the uh, snes right i think that's the version we were playing yeah yeah uh jeep was actually by the end of the night he was definitely the best at that game yeah it got to a point where nobody could beat him yeah but we did switch over to uh street fighter and i feel like kenny was he was undefeated when we yeah, played he, Street Fighter, wasn't he, he? He took care of business right there. Yeah, but then we got to Mortal Kombat, and nobody... Kenny beat me the first time because I was trying to figure out what button was B. <laughs> After that... Yeah. There, there, was, there was not it wasn't even close. Not a competition. Yeah. I, I, don't, I, I played Tell Out Tekken as a kid, and... I but never, even I still, I was never good at it either. Like, so I, just, I got the Marvel thing was different to all of us. Yeah. So we were on the even playing field. It was straight button mashing. And is I, what it was. I'm a, I am a button master masher. Yeah. For button some, masher master. Button masher master. <laughs> for some reason, with Iron Man, all my button mashing, just this, I guess it was the style of button mashing I was doing. Yeah. I was actually figuring out some of the moves and being able to do stuff. Yeah. I don't know how that happened, but that was a lot of fun. That was a whole lot of fun. Um, but you know what else we should talk about since we haven't... I mean, how long has it been since we've had a podcast? Three weeks. What have you been playing over the last three weeks? Oh, what have I been playing? Uh, I mean, I have... Those of you who follow me on my Twitch, uh, Twitch channel, yes, I have been playing Skyward Sword Stop off stream. Stop for a second. Can I interrupt you? Yeah. And can, can I ask you? Can yeah. We, can, we talk about, can we talk about your game purchase? I didn't bring it. I was going to bring it over here. It's over there. It's like, oh, yeah. Can we talk about it? I wish I had it. With, it's literally in the other room. I don't, well, I'm not going to go get it. It's fine. Uh, so the, the quick story, the quick story, I was with Parallax and Abby, and we were in GameStop, and I see this. We always look, check the 3DS and um, you know DS cabinet to make sure that there's nothing good in there hiding from us, and hop in there, and, I'm, and I see for $2.99, it's, it's Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. Don't, yeah, Duck Dynasty. And, I, and, and my brain is like, oh, man, that's pretty cool. Like, I got I to gotta go check that out. Like, it's only three bucks. Like, yeah, man, like, let's, let's get that. Let's, let's pick it up. Bring it home. Open it up. Still like, yeah, man, Duck Dynasty. I can't wait to pop this in. It's probably some old port or something. Like, this is awesome. And, you know, those of you who have already figured it out uh, that, you know, Duck Dynasty is not, wouldn't have an old port. And when I popped it in, it was basically like this RPG style game, and I couldn't get very far with it. Guys, I mistaked Duck Hunt, Duck Hunt with Duck Dynasty, and I purchased a 3DS game of Duck Dynasty thinking it was Duck Hunt. <laughs> and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> what do you do with it? Uh, it's nothing. Like throw it away. I think I'm going to take it home, hit it up with the baseball bat, throw it away. Like, that's the most fun I'm going to have with it. When, when they, okay, so when this story was told to me yesterday, I'm sitting here thinking, like, why? Like, dude, what, like, I, I know, you know, we're not best friends. I don't know everything about you, but I feel like I know enough about you to know that, like, you probably weren't watching, like, Duck Dynasty. No. 
when it was on. Is it still on? Who Is that knows? still a show? Who knows? Uh, I, I'm thinking like, like, do you have some type of like history that you were like, oh, I used to really like love this. Show. That that's what I was waiting for in the story. Like, I used to really love the show, and, or maybe like. What you don't know about me is, I'm a duck hunter, <laughs> and I really love Duck Dynasty yeah. duck calls. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's I know that's, that's not the case because he told me yesterday he didn't even know that that's what it, the, they made duck calls. I knew it had something to do with the outdoors and duck shit. Yeah, a, obviously you know, Duck Dynasty, but yeah, no. Uh, so anybody wants that, hit me up in, in a private message on Discord. I'll probably give it to you free. Uh, but yeah, there, there, there it is. That's that story. Uh, but I have, I have something priceless. much more interesting than Duck Dynasty to share about what I've been playing recently. Okay. Because yes, I've been playing some Skyward Sword. Yeah. Off stream. I'm about 10 hours in the game so far. If that helps anybody figure out where I am, give or take. Uh, it's fine. Uh, where, where you were at today? Yeah, okay, so yeah. you're, he's in the desert. I'm in the desert. I'm having lots of fun with that. It's, I, I'm loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. Not a sponsor. Uh, it's a lot of fun. That it's super fun. Like I, I think it's my second fairy Zelda game, and it could take Breath of the Wild. It could take over Breath of the Wild spot for me. I, I've, it's Dude, definitely. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Two. I, I'm, I'm gonna agree with you a whole lot there. Mm -hmm. I also, yeah, that that's pretty much what I've been playing. I mean, Animal Crossing, that never stops. Yeah. But, but I want to talk about this little guy here. Yeah. Uh, this is my brand new, brand new. Uh, Upside down. This is my brand new <laughs> uh, Game & Watch, and I have been playing this thing like a madman the past since I bought it at the beginning of my trip. Dude. I've already beaten Mario 1, uh, Unlimited Lives, caveat, but I did beat it. Yeah, but that's the whole reason you want it in the first- like, I yes. want the un like, but I told you, I played- I've played Mario 1 on my Game & Watch probably more than I've ever played Mario 1 in my entire life. It's the same. It's- yeah. it, I really, really like it. I can't wait for the Zelda one, man. I honestly... Oh, I'm, yeah. Oh, they're going to look fantastic to, next to each other. Oh, yeah. Like the green one and the red one. Oh, my God, a stand. My brother can make some stands for them. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the Game & Watch is a go. If you haven't bought one yet and you're like, I don't know if I want it. Do I really need it? You kind of do. You, you want it. You, you still know you want it, but you want it. You could walk in... I walked into Walmart and saw a stack of 10 of them. Yeah, they're still like, everywhere. Everywhere. They must... I mean, clearly they're not that popular because they're not... They're yeah. not hard to they're not hard to find. Even though they're not making them anymore, like they are relatively easy to I mean, I know here, the Walmart uh right up the road here had I think they had like five of them last time I was in there. Yeah. This was the last one in the story why I bought it actually is because it was the last one in Best Buy. And I felt like I had I had to. It was just sitting there. I've been wanting one for a while. I found little excuse why not to pick this up. And I and I do not regret it. It's it's been a blast. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's great. I, like I said, the Zelda one's going to be even better. Yeah. Playing through Zelda 1, not 2. Not 2. I will not be playing Zelda 2. But playing through Zelda 1 on something like that, I'm going to be very, uh, very happy. Very happy to do. I'm going to stream Zelda 2 off the game and watch for everyone to see. I will not be there. Okay. Fair but enough. by the way, now that we're, we're talking about it, uh, we, you're going to be back streaming yeah. over on Twitch. Yeah. When you get home, right? Yes. You're going to stream, what did you say? You're going to do like five days in a row? Just I th yeah, so tomorrow, today is Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. We're going to get back to late tomorrow night. Yeah. I'm not going to stream tomorrow night. Well, no, no. I mean, you start like Monday or Sunday or yes. something. Yeah. But you better, bet you best believe people that I'll be streaming on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday next week. Yeah. Uh, probably around the evening hours of those times, but no later than uh, probably know, 7 Eastern. Eat Eastern, I don't know. We'll find out. But head to my Twitch to find out when. Yeah. Uh, we're going back hard. I, I cannot wait. This break has been refreshing. Sometimes uh, you need it, man. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to get away from it and stop for a minute. Yeah. And it makes you, I, I think it, for me anyway, when I do stop, which is not that often, but when I do, sometimes I feel bad for a couple of days and I'm like, oh, I should be doing something. I should be doing something. But yeah. once I just get rid of that feeling and just stop, and let myself just be calm for a week or so. When I come back, I feel like I am like a whole new person. So yeah. energized, like ready to go. You know what I mean? Like oh, yeah. I can't wait to get back into it. And it's hard sometimes because it does, you know, doing this type of stuff is, it's not, it's, you know, there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that people don't see. It's, it's not the easiest thing to do, for oh, sure. Yeah. But it's definitely nice to take a break. But that's good, man. Coming back hard. Yep. Uh, I do want to circle back around really quick to Skyward Sword. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Because uh, I haven't... 
we haven't really got to talk about this game at all. Now, I, I've been saying a few things about it here and there. Um, this game, honestly... Dude, the story of this game is really... I'm not, I'm not that far in the game, but like... Uh, this might... I don't even want to say it, but like this might end up being my favorite Zelda game. I am really, really into this game. Like, really into it. And I don't, and I don't want to say, oh, this is my new favorite Zelda game right now. Because I'm not, I'm not nearly far enough into it to know what the end game... I know what the end game is, but I don't know how we get there. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't even know what the end game is. Oh, man, so, yeah, you're in for a... I'm in for a, a treat. Yeah, you are. You really are. You really, really are. I do know what the end game is. I've seen a lot of the, the, the cutscenes and stuff, but now playing the game, just thinking back to the cutscenes that I remember, it really did not give me any perspective on what this game was and how you play it and the things that are in it. I think the items and stuff in this game, just, just the ones that I have so far, like the, you don't have this yet, but it's like a, it's like a genie lamp or something. It's Whoa. like, it's like a vacuum cleaner, but it's, it's, I think it's blowing out, not sucking in. But it's like a giant, like, yeah, bottle. I think they showed you that in the, in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. And then you have the, the beetle. That carries the bottle. That is so stuff, cool. Yeah. And you're, awesome. playing, you're playing handheld, right? I, well, handheld. I'm playing with the controller. Yeah, controller. And yeah. handheld, yes. Both, both of them. I hate it. And see, I don't hate motion control, but I do not like it. I prefer, much prefer... The button controls. I'm having a great... I, I'm honestly having a great time with the motion controls. Good. They're still not perfect. I'll say that. Yeah. Uh, trying to swipe up sometimes or sideways, it's not perfect. And I am doing it right here in this confined space, too. Right, so I'm, like, right. not trying to hit this monitor or the camera or something. <laughs> so I kind of have to be careful. Sometimes I'll just scoot all the way back. Like, when I'm fighting a boss, I'm, like, back here. Like... <laughs> but... Uh, it's good, man. It's really, really good. I can't wait to... Uh, I, I think I said the other night on stream, I was like, I'm, I'm going to stop playing all of this on stream because it's taking too long. Yeah. And people are starting to want to do other things. Like, we did a three-hour just chatting stream the other night. Right. So, um, it's fine. I'll do some of it on stream, but I'm going to start... Probably once you guys leave tomorrow, I'm going to really hop in and yeah. start, start playing uh, a yeah. lot more of it. But it's good, man. So good. Yeah, and speaking of which, by the way, about the we were talking about Twitch and, and that you're on Twitch a lot now. Yeah, yeah like, that's pretty changed. much most that's, of the time. Yeah, I. Yeah, I, the no, last nothing time, to be ashamed. The of. last time I was live on this channel was our last podcast, I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah, all that's moved over there. I like it better over there for live streaming things, just because it's fun. Um. You know, I have a lot of like the sound alerts, and a lot of them are pretty much just like talking shit on me like say you suck you <laughs> jackass or something but it's fun it's really fun yeah as an ex I, I can speak for the experienced person of, as a experience of a uh, uh viewer it is a better experience overall on twitch as a viewer for sure i think so it, it, like, i have more fun on twitch streams than i ever have on youtube streams yeah it's it's cool i mean these are going to stay here obviously but yeah it's it has been uh it has been a big change and obviously this that's changed as yeah, well your whole room yeah well I'm, yeah we're not i'm not at the studio anymore i've decided uh i've decided that i have an entire downstairs to use and driving what you know 30 minutes down to the studio every day and back it's just kind of not really worth it Especially if you have the space right here, which it's you here, clearly yeah, which, do. Yeah, it's, 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 it's coming together nice. I want to say, for those of you who are curious at home, this is much smaller yes, than it, it appears. Yeah. His, this yeah. camera lens. Jeeve walked in and said, this looks a lot bigger on camera, man. Yeah, yeah it's not a big room. It's no, really not. I'm mainly, this is the, the new room, obviously. I, I have very little perspective on this, but that room over there, you've been streaming for a while on. Yeah. And this room over here is way, the room with the TV guys, if you, if you know, if you know, you know, it's way smaller than you look. It looks on camera. Oh yeah, it, way small. I mean, it's not like a tiny room by any means, but it's way it, smaller yeah, it's, than it appears with the wide angle. Lens. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a fourteen millimeter lens. It's yeah, like, yeah. It makes everything look bigger. <laughs> like the where you like, oh man, yeah. It's, it, the hallway looks everything about it. Yeah, small. it's like whoa, like wow. <laughs> yeah, kind of kind of weird when you see it in person. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I 
I like this setup, and I kind of like. I mean, if if you know, you've seen the the last few videos. Honestly, the last three, like the setup at the desk right here, has kind of evolved from like barely any lighting. Yeah. And then there's like a nighttime version, and yeah. there's a daytime version. So now, yeah, I mean, I have it's versatile at the desk, and I'm in Morgantown. Yeah. So I can just go, you know, like I thought about this. This is kind of another thing. If something happens or something's coming out that day and I pre-order, I usually try to do it at like Best Buy or something. So I have to wait till Best Buy opens to go get it that morning. And then I have to drive down to Fairmont, then turn everything on and go do it. Best Buy's, I don't know, eight minutes from my house. <clears throat> so I can, you know, if I'm here, I run over there, I grab it, I come right back here and I'm starting. You know, I, I'm cutting out so much time of driving here and driving. It's just... It makes so much more sense for me to be here instead of down there. So, I mean, it's I still have the space down there. You know, the the other desk that was there is still there. But I, I I even brought the couch from down there. It's actually down right over here too. It just it makes more sense. Yeah. yeah and I, why I, drive all that time when you have the space right here? Exactly. To, yeah. To, there's to, there's no sense in it. So yeah, I like the way it's coming together. Yeah. Oh man, Jeeve and Abby also brought me a sweet Animal Crossing framed picture. It's on the wall back there right now. You can't see it, but it's going somewhere on this wall. I don't know where yet, but it's really awesome. Yeah, they brought me so much stuff. I felt bad. I felt <laughs> bad. Well, we didn't actually talk about what you made for us when we hopped in here yesterday. Oh yeah, so yeah we, we talked about it. The shrimp? Did yeah. we say shrimp? Yeah, I, I believe we did. Yes, yes, yes. I covered all that. Delicious. Yeah, because we ate on the yeah. porch. Yeah, we covered yeah. all that. It was. It turned out really good, and I got to be honest. I haven't made that in a long time. Oh yeah. And I was like, man, I hope I'm not like forgetting something really important. This is gonna suck. I was like, oh, and I no. think I remember how long to cook it, but it turned out. It turned out pretty good. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I was. Uh, I was. Uh, I was pretty proud of myself. Oh man, we drank. We drank the juice. Yeah, I, could, I knew it was good. Yes, you guys. You guys were literally like this. Yeah, I, I need every bit. Literally every bit of this. There wasn't a lot of juice in Abby's because I think because she had chicken version, mm -hmm. and the shrimp naturally has more liquid and everything. So there wasn't. If she had juice, she probably would be drinking her juice too. It was. <laughs> it was, so it was really good. It was very man. good. It was really, really, really good. Oh man, what else do we got? What do we, what oh, do we, we need to lots. cover? Uh, I I missed some things from my trip, but if you wanna, what do you got? Uh, the trip like. Uh, mini golf. Oh, mini, mini golf. golf. Mini, well, golf. mini golf. Your mini golf pictures actually gave me an idea for something I'm putting on my animal. I'm putting a mini yeah. golf course on my Animal Crossing. Yeah, that's why I wanted to bring it up. Yeah, I can't that's wait gonna for that. be awesome. That's gonna be awesome. Oh, that reminds me, guys. Uh, right after this, probably maybe within 30 minutes, we are gonna be going live over on my Twitch. We have a really cool game planned. Uh. It involves IRL game, not yeah, a, not a video, not game. a video game. Abby is going to be the host of the game. We have her set up at the desk right here with her own camera. She will be the host of the game. We will be the contestants of that's the game. That's right. So uh, make sure I'll remind you guys before we leave. But that will be right after this. It's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty funny. There is hot sauce involved. So but yeah. So it's super humid in, in, in Delaware, right by the beaches, because of you know water everywhere. Oh yeah. And it was hot. It's summertime. And this mini golf had like was pumping steam out for like dramatic effect from all their like mini golf. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. Stuff like the skulls and like the. It was, but it was so much. Like, like my shirt. I think I was actually wearing this shirt was drenched of sweat and humidity from these my machines. God. Like it was miserable. <laughs> This what? was not a fun mini golf. I was gonna say it was fun. Sound fun at all? It was fun. I mean, I'm not gonna say that because it was mini golf. It's fun, but I, I mean, mini golf is very. Hanging fun. out with the family was great, but Jesus, like, it was so hot. It was so hot. Like, I was so mad. Like, why are they pumping all? Like, it wasn't just like for effect as well. It was going on. It was basically spraying on you. So was it? Was it to try to keep people cool? Or no, what? it did the opposite effect. Okay, I mean, I yeah, yeah, it wasn't working no. either way. Whatever it was for, it was not doing no. what it was supposed to be doing. It looked cool. It was, it looked cool. They was doing that. Okay, it looked cool. Well, they were like, you know what? Sorry if you're uncomfortable, but yeah. look how cool our mini golf course looks. <laughs> it was also packed with people, which I felt a little bit uncomfortable with. Like I didn't want to get too close to the other groups. Yeah, I was just like, ah, can yeah, we just we're like, still there. We're still yeah, there. We're still there. But uh, I mean, other cool things with the trip uh, was the uh, the the what's it called the crushes, man. Okay, what? Crushes. You said this. 
It, I think it was in one of the, the Twitch chats, right? Yeah. You said you're going to get a, a crush. I said that's what I said. Uh, I'm thinking like, like, like orange soda, like the brand. <laughs> like okay. Yeah. Like what, well, why are you why are you telling me so yeah detailed of what you're getting? Why does it have to be a crush? You're not alone. I mean, I so they told me like my family told me like yeah we want a crush. I'm like. I mean, like an orange crush like is that what you mean no no like there's a crush bar within walking distance of the place we were staying at and it was a bar and they had like a drive through window but with your feet and it was like hey wait a drive through window dri- with no, your no, feet a, a walk up window that's what I okay mean. you know walk up window. that's normal person would refer to that as a walk up window yes when you say a drive through window with your feet i'm imagining <laughs> you laying on the ground with your feet in the air <laughs> Taking a McDonald's bag with your feet. And it was full of orange crushes. And yes, it has orange crushes. It. It's a <laughs> McDonald's bag with orange crush, and you can only touch it with your feet. That's right. That's exactly okay. what it was. So that's next, what I thought next was. Topic. Yeah, anyway, cool. That's exactly what I thought. No, but, okay, so it's a walk-up window. What do you yeah. get from the window, though? Crushes. What do you mean? So it's a mixed drink. They, I don't know if it's a known thing. I don't know if it's just a Delaware thing. I don't know if it's just a bar. It's this called bar a crush. They, the call, they call it a crush. What's in it? Uh, so, it, so there was like an Al- Almer, Pal- uh, Arnold Palmer version one. There was like a... Uh, 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 I can't remember all the flavors, honestly. Okay, there so were it's many just, different flavors. Okay, I thought it was like, oh, it's one flavor. It's like vodka no. and... No, there was, like a, there was like a watermelon one. Okay. There's a strawberry one. I think there's a mango one. So they're alcoholic beverages, adult yes, beverages. Adult beverages. Okay. What's in them? Flavoring, vodka, and ice. Okay. So it's all the same type of drink yes. with different flavors. The crush, it, uh, from what I'm understanding, is the flavoring, the vodka, and the ice. That's the crush. Okay. So and then what do you flavor it with is your choice. And I chose the Ulmer Palmer version. Arnold, Arnold Palmer. Palmer, yes. It was delicious. That's a good choice. It was, it was absolutely delicious. Like, I had two of them. And the funny thing is with this place, they sell it by the gallon. Walk up, when, like, you can walk up to the window. Window. It, it, was, it was the outdoor patio of the bar. Yeah. It was just like a tiki bar looking. Th- like okay. Was, but So, I, I a can ga- uh, Dude, a I gallon. Can you can buy a gallon for $100. Of these crushes, it, it weren't cheap. It was like nine dollars per crush. My God, they, but a they, gallon for a hundred dollars? Yeah, it's like a milk jug. Yeah, uh, did, does it work that well? I didn't. We didn't guy. We didn't buy a gallon. You could just. I just saw you could buy a gallon. But but, but we bought like we were. Uh, I was on sale that night. They were having a special, six dollars per crush. Okay, so that's what we that's did. A good deal. Oh, it was good. It was tasty. So tasty, tasty. But a hundred dollars for a gallon? Do you realize how much bush apple you could buy for a hundred dollars? <laughs> If they have it, wait. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. We went to Kroger last night. The day before, there was so much bush apple there, and we went last night, and it was almost completely already gone. Completely, and we still managed to bring home like four cases. Yeah, <laughs> the smaller cases for that matter. But... Yeah, but we went through. My God, we went through a case and a half of the yeah. big ones last night. Oh yeah, while playing on the arcade. Yes, we were yeah. down here. Oh man, we were oh, down here man. yelling. Oh, we were screaming. Abby, was, went to, Abby went to bed at some point, but then after, it, it, you were like, oh, it's fine. She can't hear us upstairs. We're no, like, I, and I actually, I meant to ask her if she could, because we were really loud. <laughs> like, we were yelling so loud. Well, you told us we could be loud, and yeah, my yeah, brother yeah. and I go, oh, la- okay, cool. Well, usually nobody can hear me. <laughs> if I'm down here, like, even yeah. when I'm streaming and stuff and being really loud, like, yeah. nobody can hear me up yeah. there. It, it never, it's never been an issue. Not yeah. once. Yeah. So... I figured, yeah. I mean, oh, same yeah. same principle. It's, it should be fine. Yeah. The trick is, you got to turn one of those exhaust fans on in the bathrooms up there. <laughs> if you do that, you're literally in another world. You can't hear <laughs> anything around you at all. It's like white noise. It's. I mean, that's how yeah. noise canceling headphones work in the first place. They, yeah. They throw a very quiet. I mean, those aren't necessarily quiet, but right. They yeah. throw a noise at you and yeah. drown it out. Uh. Oh, I, I can see right here. She's saying she could barely. Barely hear us. Like, oh, barely. Okay, good. We were screaming our head off. Like, literally. <laughs> and, and, and after almost every single match, it was like, oh! <laughs> and thanks for clipping on my audio. <laughs> oh, yeah. We oh, it. yeah. It is. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. But, um, yeah, I, uh, it, it, honestly, it has been great having you guys here. Like, your brother, getting to meet your brother, too. Man. Oh, what yeah. a guy. What a guy. Abby makes the joke that you're my boyfriend. Like, we'll text, mm-hmm. like, daily. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, your boyfriend texting you again? 
Is no. that your boyfriend? I sense a little bit of jealousy there. <laughs> Just a little bit, maybe. <laughs> I didn't say it. Uh, <laughs> but so last night, I made the joke to Abby, like, hey. Like, cause these two are bromancing all night yesterday. Hey, we have a lot in common, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. Like, Drip and I are, are buds, but, like, they have a lot more in common than yeah. I, him and I. So they were, like, they were geeking out together with all sorts of stuff. Yeah, music. Yeah. You know, old car stuff. I didn't even remember yeah. what else we were talking about. Yeah. Uh, got my, my, my tractor drop here. Got to fix this all. I don't know what I don't know what voice that was. It just came out. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it, it was great. It was great. Last it, night was a ton of fun. I have a uh, question. Does, did he live up to your expectations of what? Of what oh, was? dude. <laughs> exceeded. <laughs> exceeded. Exceeded my expectations. Love you, brother. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. You know, it's, uh, it, and, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but like, well, I guess most people right here know this, but like, we didn't know each other before we started doing all this stuff online. We, we, right. we never had met before in person. Yeah, but I showed up in his chat, in your chat. Literally, his, yeah. As if you're not here with me right now. In your chat. I yeah. showed up in your chat. Yes. Uh, yeah, I told somebody that the other day. Yeah. And they're like, you guys are just like friends now? I was like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah it kind of happened like that. Yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, you know, our community is kind of like that anyway. We're all just yeah. kind of, we're... It's tight-knitting over here. Yeah, it is. It really is. But, um, yeah, someone was like... Is it going to be weird? Like, you've never met him in person. He's coming to stage. I was like, not really. Actually, not at all. Now that I think about it, like, it's, it's pretty much like, it feels like it's already happened anyway. The only thing that we were missing in our relationship was the physicalness of being near each other. Er- everything else was like, yeah, here we are. Very here normal. we are. Hey. Look at that. Again. One more. Yeah, one more. One more. Yeah. And you know what, guys? I'm not ruling out the possibility of it happening more often, you know? Not, not you know, every month. Oh like yeah, that. well we can, but we can we can scrape this up at least once a year. Well yeah, I mean, we like, were kind of talking about it last night. Uh, what we could do is something cool to meet up is find a middle ground somewhere cool to go. Like uh, you know, he's in Illinois, I'm in West Virginia, so you know, there's lots of cool cities in Ohio. Yeah, I mean, and all through there, really. I know I mean, Abby really wants to see the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She's never been there. So. Oh, in Cleveland. Yeah. I've been. It's cool. <laughs> I've been there, too. It's, it's very it's cool. very cool. Yeah, it's awesome. It's very, very cool there. Yeah, that would be a cool place we could go. Yeah. You know what's funny? My allergies got... I, I, since going on this vacation, I've been starting taking... Uh, uh, Z- what was it called? Zyrtec. Zyrtec. I want to say Zagrid. What is Zagrid? I don't know. Zyrtec. I was thinking... made that up. And Zyrtec <laughs> has really cleared up a lot of my allergy stuff. So if you watch my streams, I like cough and stuff. I got, I got, I got stuff going on. Yeah. But then it's been cleared up. It's been great. Come to West Virginia. Yeah. I'm all... I'm, I'm on the, the Zyrtec. I'm all stuffed right oh, now. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm the, I was fine till you guys got here. <laughs> we brought it. We brought it. You guys brought whatever it is, because I'm having the same problem. Like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the allergies. They're yeah. coming back, and it, yeah. I haven't had that. It's, it was starting to slowly, completely go away. And yeah, today I, I woke up and I was just like, oh uh, yeah, I can feel it. What's going on outside? <laughs> I went outside. I was like, is there pollen on my? Ch-? I was like, a little bit. Not, not. What's oh, going on? Yeah. Speaking of that, so we got up before you because you stayed up later than us. Yes, I did. I, I got caught up, <laughs> dude. <laughs> The U.S. was playing uh, Russia women's water polo, and it was intense, dude. Oh yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't not watch. I got, I think I, I caught it at like the beginning of the third quarter, and it was like tied up. It's tied up or something, and the announcers were like, "The United States has made an amazing comeback," and I was like, "This is history in the making, right here. I gotta watch this." So <laughs> I did. I didn't see the end though. There, there was a, there was a point where it was like. I have to go to bed. You would have probably woke up at like noon. Yeah. If you would say yeah. I was like, yeah, I was like, I got to go to bed. We got, we got stuff to do. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I got to take Chauncey outside. I took him potty. Yeah. He was adorable. Yeah. He's my little Chauncey. buddy. I'm like, hey, Chauncey, come on. Let's go. You got this cute little leash out there so he doesn't get, you know, he doesn't wander off too far. Yeah. That's his problem. <laughs> he just wanders. He doesn't, he doesn't run away. He just gets like so caught up in whatever he's smelling and then looks yeah. up and he's like, oh, where am I? I don't even know where I'm at. Where, like, where, where am I? Where is everybody? Yeah. And, um, and just Chauncey, if you guys are wondering, Chauncey is as, dor- as adorable as he is in the pictures. Like, he is, he is a fluff yeah, he's ball. A, he's a good, he's he a good is, dog. He's an Ewok. His head feels like the pom-pom on top of your winter hat. 
And I'm not even. Yeah, it does. It's, it's That's great. a good way to explain it. It's it does great. feel like that. It's not thin. Like my, I have a uh, we, my parents have a Chihuahua, a long haired Chihuahua, mm-hmm. and his hair is long, but and a lot like Chauncey, but thin. Yeah, Chauncey's hair is very it's thick. Thick. Man. It's it like a like, fro. Dude, yeah. It's especially it's awesome. on his head. It's yes. Like, like it, it's hard to even get to his skull. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It's tough. Um, but yeah, I also uh, I took I took Jeeb on a tour. Jeeb and Abby on a tour. That's right. Of uh, of Morgantown today. That's right. Which uh, you know, as we were as we were going through there, I was like, I know there's a lot of stuff with the campus to show, but like, it, there is actually a lot of stuff here. Like there. It's mostly the campus, but oh, like yeah. it's yeah, yeah. it's literally spread all across the city, so it kind of takes a while to see it all. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun. I, I thought it would be really cool if we stopped and got on the PRT. The PRT is like this little train thing that takes the students everywhere. <laughs> I used to ride it whenever I used to skate all the time or shoot. Yeah, like anywhere I was in Morgantown, I would just hop the the little. There's like a thing you have to put your card in, but yeah. nobody watches it. So I would just hop the thing and then just get on when other people were opening the door what and a, just take a, it to the what a, what, a, what a naughty man you are. Well, you're not supposed to use it <laughs> unless you're, like, a student. And it's like, well, I, I'm not a student, but I can sure use, you know, I can sure use the <laughs> transportation. Nope, not allowed. All right. I make my own rules. <laughs> you sure do. I make my own rules. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we got an update. What's the update? The We got more... Mario Golf. That's right. Yeah, I didn't even realize that till probably an hour before we did this. But we also decided we probably weren't going to talk about a lot of anything except just catching up oh, yeah. on this one. Uh, but that is cool. I mean, we got one more course and one more character. Yeah. Uh, there was a new mode, too, wasn't there? I didn't see what that was. but Oh, there is a new mode. We got New Donk City. Yep. That's cool. Oh, did you, did you say... Who the new character is? Oh yeah, it's uh, uh Toadette, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Which we we kind of already knew that was coming. If you've played the game, really, in she's in the game. Yeah, she's already in the game. It's almost as if they withheld. Oh wow! Something. Wow, yeah, it's kind of like and that. Pretended. Like oh wow! I didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, it's like, it's clear that. what they're doing. They're building hype. They're try- attempting to build hype to the game. That they've already made, and the, and to do so, trying to keep sales up, the, the, it, keeping sales up by by not putting it all at once, and then they're gonna keep. It's like free. It, it's advertisement for them. Free advertise. They've they, they already know this is coming. It's not like oh, guess what, guys? We have Toadette. What a shocker! Like that's not the case. Well, like it we used know to work. We, it used to work because people, you know, and, and probably that's the thing. Mm. It used to work on me, I guess I would say. Because okay. I wasn't somebody who looked into it, like that type of stuff, for a while. But then it's like, when you see this stuff happening, 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 and you do what I do, and you follow all the things, it's very clear what's going on. It's very clear what they're doing. The normal, everyday person who just goes out and buys Mario Golf and doesn't watch YouTube and see everybody complaining about it, and this, no, they never know. And then they're like, oh, wow, more free stuff? That's really nice of Nintendo. So, my guess is there's a lot more of those type of people out there than there are people like us who can blatantly see, like, you're holding content back. I kind of, I see myself as an average consumer. I guess I'm not. It, like, I just... You I, have much more, much more knowledge than the average everyday person who's walking into a Walmart to buy... A Switch. Game. I guess the average person, while they're watching Two and a Half Men, I'm watching YouTube videos on Switch stuff. Exactly. I mean, I, I guess that makes me more than an average. Viewer. Yeah. You you know you you have way more knowledge on the entire situation than yeah. Average Joe walking in yeah. just picking up Mario Golf on a whim. It's not like I'm an expert, and I don't definitely claim to be. It's more just like I'm informed. Yeah. And you, most people are not informed. Exactly. And I think that's kind of where they're they're trying to keep. They're trying to keep this going with those people. Yeah. And I think eventually the more it's talked about, the more it's talked about, it's going to end up biting them in the ass, I think. I think it's going to start being a little bit more like, hey, you don't do this. Like, we're not happy about this, which it already is, but it's still just, you know, us people who are here like, well, we, we follow it and we know, but. Yeah. And they did it with tennis too, but I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, any more topics? 
as far as like what we had. I mean, like, I think I kind of covered all. Anybody? Well, yeah. This is not. This is a podcast, not a stream. We'll get to the stream. Yeah. Momentarily, but I mean, yeah, here soon. Yeah. What time is it now? Eight thirty now. Maybe we'll wait till like maybe maybe we'll just go live at like my normal time, like nine nine thirty, yeah, something yeah. like that. Uh, I mean, I I think I think we've covered everything. You know, yeah. we we have. Uh, what do we got left? We got tonight. We're gonna do the stream. Yep. You guys are leaving tomorrow at noon. Yeah. So we're gonna take it a little bit easier than we did last night. Yeah, we stayed up way too late last night. Well, yeah, we stayed up till like three. Yeah. It was way too late. <laughs> it was way too late. I mean, you know, <clears throat> like I said, me going to bed before like one o'clock, it's pointless because I, I literally just lay in bed like, well, I could be doing something, but I'm just laying in bed for no reason now. <laughs> but yeah, th three's, three's, that's pushing it. That's pushing it way too far. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what we got left. Then uh, these guys are heading back. And um, Jeeb is going to be back streaming on his Twitch. There's one thing we missed. What is one thing we missed? Our name of our podcast. The name of our podcast, uh, everyone. We did. Totally it, forget if about you, that. If you, if you didn't know, if you didn't click on this and you're just listening because someone's forcing you to listen, the name of our podcast is Drip and Jeeb. Uh, I think Drip and I have decided that I think it's not that it's a bad name. In fact, the YouTube is staying exactly the way it is. Yeah, the YouTube channel name. Yeah, yeah the other channel, yes. Yeah. The, but the audio version, I, th I think we need a new name. I think it's time. We need something that's going to be searchable and discoverable and also just fit the podcast more than just, you know, us, right. our names. Right. I agree. If I, we I, can't find anything, then so be it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's this for now. Yeah. Until something better comes along. What we're saying is we're not married to Drippin' G for the podcast name specifically. So if there are any of you guys... Oh, have... two idiots, one mic. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. I almost broke the no cussing rule here. Yeah, I almost did too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if, uh, if any of you guys have good name suggestions... Uh, good ones. Alex. Yes, actual suggestions. If you guys have any good ideas, yeah. uh, you can put them in the Discord... We'll talk about it there, or maybe yeah. uh, later on when uh, Dripcast Network. Yeah, that's great. Switch open channel. Just ignore anything that says his name. It's just ignore him. <laughs> uh, oh, Nintendo vibe. You know what else you can do? Nintendo vibe. <laughs> don't, don't kill the vibe. <laughs> that's a good one. Nintendo uh, vibe. You can leave good. a review on Apple Podcasts. Yes, leave please. Leave your name choice in there. We will see those. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be great. You yeah, do just that. do that. Or just read a review anyway, five stars, nothing less. Because unless you're a, a, a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Four stars, missing one star, miss old... I, I, I don't know. Jeep's too sunny. Jeep's too brown now. <laughs> <laughs> lose, the, get, lose the tan. You got some sun, man. I got way too much sun in my head, and I actually was oh, peeling. Oh, man. I started, really? Like layers? No, 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 no. Just okay, like, just like the, bits and pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was awful, because that was the day of the wedding. I went oh, to, man. and I was, I was, I felt like I had leprosy going through the witches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, man. All right, well, guys, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and call it. Like I said, we'll be over on my Twitch uh, later tonight. We're playing a, we're playing a game show. Abby's the host. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, there is uh, hot sauce involved, some truth or dare questions, some trivia. It's going to be very interesting. Um... We appreciate you guys being here. Uh, we will be back to our regular podcast schedule next week, correct? That's correct. Okay, so yeah. We'll see you guys back here uh, probably a little bit later, but Thursday, next week for the podcast. We will have this up uh, hopefully tomorrow over on the other channel, the podcast channel, and all the other places, which are what? A uh, Apple. Apple, Amazon. Spotify, yeah, yeah, an or go. anywhere you can find a podcast. There you go. Google, it's all there. All right, cool. All right, guys. We'll, uh, we appreciate you being here, and we will see you later on Twitch. Thanks, guys.